Downloading and saving seems scary. It seems hard. It was the main thing people said they didn't know how to do. Um, it's so fast and so easy. So I want to show you. I'm going to go over to, I'm going to start with my phone, and I'm going to show you how we can get it from my phone onto my computer, ready to print in just a few simple steps. So let's head on over here. They got me this fancy gizmo. Isn't this great? So let's say I'm on my Instagram. And I go to my library. And here they are. Hey, I found the Coke with my name on it. How about that? There it is. Well, close. So I want to put that on the layout. I actually did save the wrapper. And I am going to put this on the layout. So now I'm getting a step done with you. That's great. So Instagram, I think, is the one with the most confusion around it because it's not a 4 by 6 It's not that standard size. However, as we'll discover in our printing portion of class later, a lot of companies are adapting to that and offering you square prints, which is wonderful. In this case, however, if I'm using my home printer and it's just 4 by 6 how do I get my Coke bottle? One way you can do it is just what we talked about, where you screen capture it. I'm just going to... And that, you, that kind of flash, you know that saved it to your camera roll. It's just set up to do that. You don't have to make settings do that. Is that true with Android? It just populates the camera roll. You hit a little the camera icon, I believe, will do it. And it'll bring it right in there. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. And then from here, I'm going to close my Instagram. And I'm going to, in my case, because now how do I get from what we just did on my phone into my computer? I stay on my phone for just a minute. You have options. First thing you could do, which I'm not going to do, but I'll show you how is simply go, oh, look at this, 8,863 photos. No wonder my stuff crawls. I know. Look at her, a gape her mouth. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's a little obscene. I like pictures. So there it is. From here, you can either hit this little icon in the corner with the arrow coming out of it, and you can email it to yourself. That's probably the easiest, the quickest way to do it, because then you just open your email. It's made as an attachment, and it's living on your computer now. It bridges that gap. Some phones, mine is full, <laughs> obviously. Uh, you get some complimentary backup, like cloud s software, and it'll just automatically, every night when you plug your phone in, your daily activity goes up into that space. Right. I can't do that anymore. I've outgrown it. So you can pay for more, but I'm cheap, so I didn't do that. So we're not going to do the email, so we're going to cancel out of here. Another way um, that I will show you that I love is Dropbox. So I'm going to open my Dropbox account. This is free to a point. And let's say I'm going to put my Coke bottle on my blog. Organize your Dropbox into different things you do with different companies or whatever, different aspects of life. Here's my blog. It's the only, you can tell if you have a Dropbox that's shared through the little bathroom people on it, uh, whatever they're called, you know, the, these guys. That means other people have access where if it's a calendar, the uh, folder is blank. It's just for me. So usually when I'm doing this, I only put them in my folders. I'm going to put, open my blog. Then there's these three little guys at the top in the right corner. I can hit those, and it says Upload. It's as simple as pushing the Upload. And this is so great. I can pull as many things as I want to. And you can select them all at the same time. It does take a little time, but you just set your phone down, and you go about your business. You know, you make your dinner or whatever you want to do. In this case, we'll just select the Coke. So it's going to be quick. And you hit Upload. My, I'm dead, so my skin's not acting, sorry. It's fast because it's the Instagram, again, lower resolution, so it's not a huge file. And now, if I move over here to my computer, and we go over to my Dropbox, same folders. Dropbox is so great because it's all synced. What you see here is what you see here. So you can open the, um, let's see, get off the phone here, and we move next door to the, the desktop. There we go. And you can click Blog. Now, I will tell you that sometimes, and this looks like it's happening here, there's a slight delay. It's not long, but it takes a minute. But let's say it was this cute picture of Maggie we did instead of the Coke for the sake of time. It's right there now. And from here, I know it seems tedious. I promise as you do it, it's just second nature. It's really fast. You simply click on the, again, those three dots. When you see those, you know that that's going to help you move stuff around for the most part. And then you just hit download. This one may take a little longer because it's a larger file. That's from Misty Lane Photography. Isn't she awesome? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but it'll download to your computer. It'll ask you what you want to do with it. You can save it to your desktop. And then however you already print your photos, whether that's sending them to the Costco or printing them at home. And we'll talk a lot more about printing specifics in the printing section of class. But it's there for you.